All right, I'm continuing my study of Dr. Stifler's sick exciter, and in an effort to try to understand more about how this circuit works, I decided to take a step backward and study basic circuits, specifically basic radio circuits. So I went all the way back to a basic uh, crystal radio circuit and uh, built one up and took a look at it to try to understand the dynamic of an inductor and a capacitor in a tank circuit, LC tank circuit, and how they work, specifically in radio. And this is the basic, basic thing that a lot of people start out with, and I did too, way back when I was about nine years old, I built one of these. But this was a lot of fun. I built this up yesterday and had a lot of fun with it, and uh, it's a little more than it needs to be, but it worked out quite quite nicely. And it's, um, it's a way to study the dynamic of what is going on in there. And there's actually four resonance circuits in that little thing there. And the dynamic of uh, how a sec exciter works, um, you have to understand this. And this runs on uh, a signal coming in through the air, and then it's amplified. And um, Dr. Stifler's sec exciters work in a realm beyond that. And uh, specifically, his PSEC is amplifying an ambient background z-series signal and in order to try to get my brain around that I thought I might go back and take a look at something that I do understand and I can understand and that's the basic simple crystal radio but here it is um, I built this yesterday antenna is just going up to the window frame right there and that's this part here and the ground the earth ground just goes to a stake outside the door right there it comes into the house right here. Uh, I've got a tunable inductor, which is basically the L3 type thing off of a exciter with a ferrite rod, a tunable ferrite rod, and then a 0 to 500 picofarad variable cap. I'm using a germanium diode. Uh, I actually used an iron pyrite rock yesterday with a safety pin, and it also worked. And that's the part right here. That's the semiconductor that you need to make this happen. And then uh, right here on a real crystal radio, um, you can hear it with a piezoelectric or um, sensitive earphones. And it's not powered. The uh, energy comes through the air. And then you can actually hear the radio um, through the, uh, the earphones. Now, I was listening to it with this piezo speaker yesterday uh, very faintly. But I went ahead and hooked it up to a little amplifier. It's uh, one of these iPod amplifiers. And that makes uh, a much, much better system. You just come out here into an amplifier, and then uh, it, it makes something that uh, you can hear much better. But basically, uh, Dr. Stifler's uh, PSEC is amplifying these things. And uh, trying to get my brain around how that all works is uh, hard. So I'm backtracking and I'm looking at basic radio circuits. Let me turn this on. It's it's actually uh, tuned to a Spanish-speaking station down in San Diego or Mexico. Only picks up a couple of stations. <coughs> they're strong. They're AM stations. Let me turn to the football game here. Again, it's a gutsy call. It is almost fourth and two. That's a football game uh, going on uh, a strong station down in the San Diego area. So anyway, this uh, this was my uh, first step in uh, studying this was to build one of these, and uh, you can find these circuits all over the internet. I just built mine with what I had on hand and got it to work. Um, the next step here is to put together an FM uh, receiver and an FM transmitter circuit and play around with those and see if I can learn some more. But this was an excellent learning tool to take a look at the dynamic between a capacitor and a coil. Um, inductance and coil uh, in a tank circuit with a semiconductor. Very, very basic stuff. Uh, most engineers... Uh, have built one of these, I would imagine. It's a basic bare bones electronics. And I do recommend, uh, even the old guys, if you want to have a fun in the afternoon, just get your toolbox out and grab some parts and put together one of these. It's a trip down memory lane.
<laughs> Thanks for watching.